Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language. And in this video, we're going to tackle Pre-Calculus Parabola, Part 1, Introduction. Okay, so let's start with the introduction about parabola. A um, parabola is a set of points in the plane equally distant from a fixed line D and fixed point F not on the line. So, mapapansin niyo, ayun, may vertex siya, tapos may focus, at ito yung parang curve shape. Mapapansin niyo, pwede siyang yung curve shape, pwede pataas, pwede yung pababa, pwede yung nasa kaliwa, pwede yung nasa kanan, which you will see later. So, para mas maitindihan natin ang parabola, let's have some terminologies, guides, and parabola formula table. So, first one, we have the terminologies of vertex. Ano ba yung vertex? Yung vertex, ito yung point where the parabola intersects the axis. Ito yung mismong gitna ng parabola nyo. Make sure dapat map familiarize niyo yung mga terminologies kasi ito yung tutulong sa inyo para mas maitindihan to it at ma maipasay yung exam nyo. Alright, so moving on, let's have the focus. Focus naman, ito yung lies on the axis of symmetry of the parabola, always inside the mouth of the parabola. So mapapansin mo, ayun yung vertex, diba? Yung blue. Yung violet, yung violet naman, yung, yung focus. Nasa loob siya palagi ng mouth ng parabola, hindi pwede nasa labas. Moving on, let's go to axis of symmetry. Ano ba yung axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry naman, ito yung linya about which the parabola is symmetrical. So, ito yung nagahate dun sa parabola para maging symmetrical yung parabola nyo. At ito yung palaging kahalera niya, yung vertex at focus. So, may kita nyo siya sa image. Moving on, let's have the focal length. Focal length, minsan tawag dito A or P. Depende sa teacher nyo o dun sa textbook. Focal length naman kasi is the distance between the vertex and the focus. Measured along the axis of symmetry. So, again, sometimes called A or P. So, ang layo ng vertex dun sa focus, ay yung focal length. Or A or P. Again, depende yun sa teacher nyo ha, kung anong tawag dyan. Ulitin ko, ang focal length, yun yung layo. Yung distance ng vertex at focus. Yun yung focal length. Okay, moving on. Ano ba yung directrix? So, yung directrix is the horizontal line, the set of all points at a certain height in the parabola's plane. Papansin mo, kahalera niya din yung vertex. Yung focus naman, nasa loob ng bibig ng parabola, ang directrix nasa ibaba ng mouth ng parabola. At paano malaman mo kung gano'ng kalayo yung vertex sa directrix in yung letter A or yung focal length? Kung ano yung gano'ng kalayo yung vertex sa focus, ganun din kalayo yung vertex sa directrix. Kaya A din yung nilagay ko doon. Ulitin ko, ang distance ng directrix sa vertex ay kung gano'ng din kalayo yung focus sa vertex. So equal lang sila. Okay, next one, latus rectum. Latus rectum naman is the chord perpendicular to the principal axis and passing through a focus of a parabola. Okay, so paano ba makita itong latus rectum? Napin mo muna yung focus. Okay, pag nakita mo yung focus, magdadraw ka ng line dyan sa perpendicular dun sa focus. Okay? So, ang measure ng latus rectum, sa kaliwa niya is 2A at yung sa kanan is 2A. So, a total of 4A. Ano ulit yung A? Yun yung layo ng vertex sa focus. Kung ang vertex to focus, ang measure niya ay 5, makikita mo sa image. So, ang total distance ng latus rectum ay 20. Sampu sa kaliwa, sampu sa kanan. Kasi diba dalawang lima, 2A, diba? Alright, so ba't ko pa kailangan malaman yung latus rectum? Kasi para maging tama yung shape ng parabola mo, dun, yung, dun siya ibibase, dun sa latus rectum din. Alright, so nandito na tayo sa opening of parabola guide. So, paano natin malalaman kung ang opening ng parabola ay pataas, pababa, pakaliwa, or pakanan? Always remember, ganto lang yung technique dyan. Okay, may formula tayo, di ba? Kung saan yung square, yung exponent na 2, dun yung siya ibibase. Okay, pag x, it's either pataas lang yan or pababa. Okay, so yung square na sa x, so automatic yan, either pataas o pababa lang yan. Paano natin malalaman kung pataas o pababa? Kung may negative sa kanan, negative 4ay, that's pababa. Kung positive, that's pataas. At kapag sa so y square naman, matik yan, pakaliwa or pakanan lang yan. Paano natin malalaman? So as you can see sa formula, 
y squared is equal to 4ax. So, pakanan siya kasi positive eh. Or, y minus, the quantity y minus k squared is equal to 4a times x minus h. So, walang negative dun sa 4, 4a. So, matik yun positive. Mga formula na yan, magagamit natin in the later video. Alright, so moving on. Ito na sa parabola formula table guide, part 1. It looks like complicated, kaso, promise, madali lang to. Ay, apat tayong equation. So, may corresponding vertex focus yan, equation directrix, axis of symmetry, and points of lattice rectum. So, hindi ko masyadong uh, i-elaborate to kasi tutulungan ko naman kayo sa technique pag nag-solve na tayo ng mga questions. Alright, so let's move to the next one. Equations of a parabola at vertex 0, 0. Pag ang vertex mo ay nasa origin, which is 0, 0. So, question number 1. Find an equation of the parabola with vertex at 0, 0, o yung origin, and focus at 5, 0. Right, first step, i-graph muna. Kailangan natin i-graph para ma-visualize mo yung mismong problem at yung parabola. Okay, mapansin mo yung vertex sa origin siya. Tapos, ang focus, ay nga, nasa 5, 0. Dahil ang focus, nandito sa kanan, so syempre, ang parabola mo will be opening pa kanan. Kasi di ba palagi, ang focus na sa loob dapat ng mouth ng parabola. So dahil pa kanan ang parabola, so ang equation na gagamitin natin ay y square is equal to 4ax. So check lang natin yung opening of parabola guide. Okay, so positive that will be pakanan. And for, for negative naman, that will be pakaliwa. So, tama tayo. Pakanan siya. Next step naman is sanapin natin yung value ng A. Or, ito yung focal length. Focal length again is the distance between the focus and the vertex. So, kung mapapansin mo, visually naman, maingkita natin, ang layo niya is 5 units. So, ang A mo is equal to 5. Next step naman is just substitute the 5 to the A. So, that will be y squared is equal to 4 times 5 times x. So, ang sagot will be y squared is equal to 20x. So, ito na yung mismong equation ng parabola mo with the vertex at 0, 0 and focus at 5, 0. Alright, so let's move to example question number 2. Find the vertex, focus, and equation of the rectrix of the equation x squared is equal to 4y. Sketch the graph. Alright, so in event na mangita niyo itong equation na to, Gantong equation, x squared is equal to 4y, or y squared is equal to 4x, na wala yung a, matik yan, ang a mo dyan ay 1. Kasi kung ititignan mo yung formula na x squared is equal to 4ay, kung ang a mo dyan ay 1, same naman din siya sa x squared is equal to 4y. Ang a mo hindi pwede maging 0, kasi pag zero mo ang a, edi 0 na rin yung buong equation. So, ulitin ko, pag ganito yung binigay na question, yung x squared is equal to 4y, or y squared is equal to 4x, na mawala yung a, matik yun, ang a mo ay 1. You remember, yung equation mo is x squared is equal to 4y. Pag x squared is equal to 4y yan, ang x squared lang, syempre, matik yan, ang vertex mo ay 0, 0. At, ang opening ng parabola mo ay pataas. So, yung a mo daw ay 1, so yung layo ng vertex sa focus ay isa. At ang focus ay palaging nasa loob ng parabola, ba? So, ang graph mo ay magiging ganito. Isang unit lang yung layo ng focus sa vertex. At pataas yung opening ng parabola. Next naman is pinapahanap sa atin yung equation ng directrix. So, makikita natin dito sa table, pag x squared is equal to 4ay daw, ang equation of directrix is y is equal to negative a. So, Ang a natin is 1, so ang equation of directrix is y is equal to negative 1. Alright, so let's go to the equations of a parabola at vertex h, k. For this equation naman, hindi na nasa origin ang vertex natin. So we have to use another formula, which is the quantity x minus h squared is equal to negative 4a times the quantity y minus k. Again, it's just one of the equations kasi... Pag titignan natin yung formula table guide, apat siya. So, don't worry, hindi naman to ganun kahirap. Papadaliin natin to. Okay, you may check the formula table guide, but I will give you some techniques naman para mas maging madali yung pagsagot natin. Alright, so first example, 
find an equation of the parabola with vertex at 2 and negative 3 and focus at 2 and negative 5. Okay, so first step, i-graph muna siya para mas madali natin makita yung parabola. Gina-graph ko yung vertex, ayan, yung naka-blue, at yung focus, yun yung naka-violet. At mapapansin mo, again, ang focus na sa loob palagi ng opening ng parabola. Kaya ganun yung parabola mo. At alam natin dahil opening downward siya, you have to use x square. Tapos, negative yung nasa kanan. So dahil wala sa origin, you have to use the equation will be the quantity x minus h squared is equal to negative 4a times the quantity y minus k. Alright, so next step natin is sanapin naman natin yung a or yung focal length or p depende sa prof or teacher nyo. Again, ang focal length or a or p, yung layo ng focus sa vertex. So makikita nyo, ang layo niya ay 2. Alright, so dahil alam na natin yung a, tapos meron na tayong formula na gagamitin natin, substitute na natin yung vertex dun sa formula. So yung h natin ay 2 at yung k natin is negative 3. Ang hk kasi yung, yung vertex. Okay? So we have the quantity x minus 2 square is equal to negative 4a times the quantity y minus negative 3. Now to simplify, that will be the quantity x minus 2 square is equal to negative 8 times the quantity y plus 3. So, yun yung final answer nyo. Ito na yung equation ng parabola natin with vertex at 2 and negative 3 and focus at 2 and negative 5. And that's the end of the video on parabola introduction. Next video natin will be about examples and solutions. So, lahat ng possible examples or questions na may, may babato sa inyo ng prof o teacher nyo, malalaman natin yan sa next video. Or if you have any questions or in need of clarifications or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Try natin sagutan yan. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.